Going through the alignment process before a PLC meets allows everyone to bring their own insights about the standard to the meeting. When a PLC goes through the alignment process together, they're more likely to all miss the same things. But if the work is done by everyone beforehand, then everyone can bring their own perspective about the standard to the table, and the group will end up with a more rigorous and complete final product. On a previous slide, I showed you the specific resources that I used to go through the alignment process for Science Standard 6.6b. Now that I've finished that process, I'll use what I've learned to create a no-show table to summarize exactly what students need to know and do for this standard. Here is the no-show table for Standard 6.6b. The student is expected to calculate density to identify an unknown substance. So students need to know that the density of an unknown substance can be used to identify the substance. That is directly from the standard itself, and it is exactly how students are assessed on this content. Students will also need to know how to use mass and volume to calculate density using the density equation. This is a clear expectation of the standard, and a part of every star question we've seen. Students will need to know how to find the mass of liquids and solids using a scalar balance and they will need to know how to find the volume of liquids and solids using a graduated cylinder. This skill was actually a part of the 2019 question from this standard. You may notice that finding the mass of a substance using a scalar balance has never been a part of a star question from this standard. However, this is an important skill that students will need for the standard and is shown on the alignment document. So it is important that even as we try to be laser focused on the standard, we do not completely restrict ourselves to only what we have seen on past star tests. This skill is aligned to the standard and it should be considered fair game for future tests. In order to prove that students have mastered the standard, they'll need to show that they can do the following things. They'll need to calculate the density of an unknown substance, given its mass and volume in a table or word problem. After looking at release questions, I want to make sure that my students can navigate those stimuli. If they can't, then they haven't really mastered this standard yet. They also need to identify an unknown substance using the density they calculated in a table of densities. Students will need to show that they can go from the information they are given to the identity of an unknown substance. And finally, Students must be able to identify an unknown substance after calculating its density from a mass and volume they measured. They have to master the use of scales, balances, and graduated cylinders to navigate this standard about density. So in a distance learning setting, this will mean creating resources that allow students to practice these skills virtually. Once I've gone through the alignment process on my own and created a no-show table with my PLC, I can be confident that I'm ready to move on to PLC question number two.